Hello, I'm making this video for a friend on how to change the language on Windows 7 Home Premium Edition and I'm doing this for a friend if anybody else benefits from this that would be fine but this primarily is for a friend um, anyways, let me show what, I, what I'm going to do here what we need to do is we need to go into um, open up Explorer and we need to go to um, actually these two websites here first you want to go to this one here up at the top if you can see that I'm not sure let me um, zoom in here a little bit and see if we can't get that a little bit uh, if you can't see that uh, particular um, that particular one now we might be able to um, put that in the description of the video underneath the video so if you want to open that up you'll probably be able to see that better so we want to go to that go we want to go to that one first so that's this uh, website here so when you go down here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, you're going to want to go to this highlight blue highlighted where it's called Vistalizer and what you're going to do is you want to click on that and it's going to a dialog box will come up to actually um, run or save it. You can decide. I just usually tend to just run it. So what it's going to do is it's going to download. So we'll wait for that to download right quick. Okay, once it's done, we can just uh, close that out. And so then we're done with that. That here is the Vistalizer software that will allow us to um, run the software. Now, see, I've got a little blinking thing here that's going to tell me that I need to. Um, I'm going to run this. It says it's unknown, but it's fine to go ahead and run that. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that up. And so, here we go. Here we are at the Vistalizer um, such. Now, the next, the next um, thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the next. Uh, link in this uh, here right there is kind of long I'll put it in the description underneath so that you can uh, look at that and be able to get to that website okay uh, but that's the next link we want to go to this is where we're actually going to download the um, language pack so right here as you notice I'll go ahead and I'm gonna scroll up a bit right up here we got uh, it's this uh, so you want to this on this side here you want to scroll down about oh about not about a quarter of the way down you'll come to these files here with all these language um, <clears throat> by it here and you want to look at the English one and you'll just want to click on that and so when I click on there you'll see that that is open opens up and you'll just want to probably you want to save this to your desktop now I've already downloaded this so I'm not going to download it again so I'm going to close out but you want to hit the save button and it'll do that okay so that's what you need once you have those two files you already have Vistalizator uh, open you'll want to go over here and add languages now what it'll do is it'll open up this uh, dialog box and what you'll find here is you want to find out where you save that at um, now right here I have the file on my desktop so if I went over here to my desktop and hit that um, and scroll down here I will find that that file is right here so what I would do is I would hit this file and what it's going to do is going to load up this file into um, here let me just uh, let me just uh, do this for you again I'm gonna, well I can't really do anything about it right now okay um, so what we're going to do is open if I was to say open that, oh I'm sorry, click that and open, what it'll do is it'll say converting the file and it's writing the language to the Vistalizator. So it's converting the file and so then it uh, should write here now. Uh, see it says I already already installed this language so I don't need to do that. So let's say that I want now, um, but what you'll do is you'll want to add that language and hit that um, button to add it and then you'll find here in this dialog box here you'll have these language options now what you're going to do is once you um, once you have that you want to highlight English 
and it's going to say change this is going to um, change language option here is going to um, highlight and so what you'll do is you'll simply hit that language button and what it'll do is it'll change your language um, it'll change the language on your system and I believe you'll need to uh, reboot your system after it's done and then when you reboot it up you will have the English in place now uh, for example if I was to open up the uh, change language I could hit here as I say I highlighted Japanese I could hit the change language now and what that'll do is that'll revert it back to uh, ja Japanese now one note is is uh, this what I did was I downloaded the Vistalizator and went ahead and ran it so um, now it's not really saved on my system somewhere where I can find it so if you want to what you'll want to do with your download when you go to download uh, Vistalizator on uh, this first um, link there is you'll probably want to go ahead and save it to your desktop or something and then go ahead and double click on it and it'll open it up and then you'll always have that that um, uh, Vistalizator uh, saved on your hard drive so that you won't have to go back to the link and download it every time uh, that you need to use it so uh, that's just a note um, it's for me anyway so if you know some other way to do it other way to do it then uh, that'd be fine but that's the way I use to do it so anyways uh, that's how you use this so it's pretty simple download those two files open up Vistalizator uh, you'll say uh, you want to go to add languages and find that file and once you find it um, you know say open it and then uh, highlight this and, and change the language and should be fine if you have any uh, you can if you have any questions or whatever you can um, put a, a um, <clears throat> Uh, you can uh, ask me through an email or something like that. So that's about it for this video. Um, hope this helps. Bye.